welcome to ASMR Tech Support. Today I'm just going to be showing you the very basics of Microsoft PowerPoint. How to insert a new slide, transitions, animations, all good things like this. So this is what you're going to be seeing when you first open PowerPoint and everything in PowerPoint is basically handled through the top tabs here top of your screen so I click across I'm going to go into more detail on how to use the things in these different tabs. So click to add tile, so I'll add tile. added my tile, all I did was click inside the box there and you can change, like Microsoft Word, you can change the font just click up here, this part here, just like Microsoft Word change it to something different, SMR text button, there we go and we'll change the font size, and there we are you can also change the font colour, you go over here to something a bit different, there we are, okay, so if you wish to insert a new slide into your PowerPoint presentation, this is just up here, just click on, you can either just click here to insert a new slide, If you want to be a bit more fancy, you can click on the down arrow here and you can choose a layout. So you can just have blank, you can have two here, different, there's all sorts of different ones. And I'm just going to go with this one here. So this is your standard one. I'll just add in with it. Okay. So you can alter and change the size of these text boxes yourself if you want to create your own layout. So I've just ch I've just dragged from the side there. And I've changed the size of this. If I wish, I can insert a new text box, which is over here on your tab slot. So now I'm on the insert tab. And go over to text box. I can insert and drag out a new text box. What's that typing in there? Just something random. There we are. Alright, go back to the insert tab. Um, on the insert tab, we've got different things. We can insert picture, shapes, all sorts of different things. So we can insert a picture. So just click here. I've uh, downloaded a nature picture from Google. Just double click or just click to insert. All right. So immediately you'll see when I've inserted this picture it goes straight to the format tab 
in case you want to format the picture. So I'll drag it out by the corners to keep the aspect ratio and keep the resolution. Don't want to distort it. So there we go. If you wish to crop your picture, that's also that's on the format tab here. You can just click up here, click once, and then you get these little corner inserts here. Now, if you drag it across, you can see there's a bit of a grey border here. There we go. Now if I click crop again, once I've changed the size of it, it gets rid of all the grey here and shortens the picture. Let's go back to our insert tab. Now we can have a look at the shapes. Click the down arrow again. You can see you can insert all sorts of different shapes. So let's just insert a basic rectangle. So I'll drag it out here. Now it gives me the same options as the picture. If I want to rotate it, that's just the little one at the top here. There we go. Rotate it to wherever I want. Okay. So now we've inserted a picture. We can insert some clip art, but I'll save that for another video. And we've inserted a text box. So we'll go and move on to the next tab, which is the design tab. And now your design tab basically changes the could say changes the layout of your whole PowerPoint presentation. So you've got a selection here. Different ones. You can click on the little down arrow here, this side, and you'll get a few more different ones at the bottom. I'm just going to go with this one. So you can see on my presentation. Let's change the home screen. That's my very first slide. Let's change these ones as well. Different slides. Now you can have a play around with that. Find the design that you like. Okay. Next we'll move on to transitions. Now the transitions basically play a little animation that goes from the first slide to the second slide or the third slide to the fourth slide. Depends which slide you select. So you have to have it on the slide that you want the transition to work on, so say if I click this one the yellow highlight is on the first tab, uh, the first slide here should I say so we'll choose try this one, the flash see what that looks like go click the flash there we go, that was, that was pretty nice okay can apply the transition to the second slide as well. I've just got to click on the slide. 
and then choose a different one. So try this one, random bars. Okay, there we go. So now I've transitioned from the first slide to the second slide, and the second slide to the third slide. And that's as complicated as it gets. You can go into the effect options here if you want to change them around slightly. So let's move on to the animations tab. Now the animations tab, you use that on different objects rather than the actual slide. So what I mean by that is you can click on this picture here and immediately when I click on the picture you will see that these are all highlighted. Now as I'm going across it gives you a little preview of what the animation will look like. So say if I wanted this one click on this one I'll give you a nice little animation ok click away from that you can play this slide from the current slide you're on and broadcast it I'll just most people just use it from the beginning. Okay, so your next one is review. Now the review tab is very, very similar to Microsoft Word in that you've just got the spelling here. So hopefully it should pick up. Let's try it on this one. Oh, there we go. So I've typed something in here. Obviously, this is not a word. So if you go to spelling here, click that. And it gives you some of the suggestions. You can choose to ignore or autocorrect. Okay. There we go, I won't go into too much details about these other things here. I'll save that for another video. I'll go to the view tab. So the view tab, you can change this view of the PowerPoint presentation. So this is just your normal view that you're on at the moment. You can go to slide sorter, which is this one. Just gives you a different view. I won't click on these two because last time I did that it stopped my video. Okay. So we touched on the format tab, which is the special one you get when you click on images and different objects. So if I go to here we use the crop tool which is up here again there's uh, different things you can do in here so along the top you can add a border to your picture which looks pretty cool so this is just a simple frame here so I can add that to my presentation to make it look a little bit more stylish Change the picture effects. If I click on this one, picture layout. And that's the final tab. So the only other thing to show you is how to save it. So if you go to file and and click save or save as I can print it 
and then we go back to home. And I think that's about it for this uh, tutorial. Just a very basic guide to PowerPoint. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, like and subscribe. Thank you very much.